Actually, one thing, even though you're not asking it, I'm going to bring this forward because there is a misconception in the popular vernacular around dopamine. And so I just want to help illuminate this, which is that people often describe, uh, and typically this I've seen this more in the news or in magazine articles uh, as compared to science periodicals, where people talk about dopamine being a pleasure molecule. Just with a show of hands, how many folks have heard of that? that? Dopamine is this pleasure molecule. Yeah, several folks have heard that. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> so, so dopamine is there to help us lay down memory, okay? And so if you look at um, the way that it functions, right? We've talked about when something surprising happens, right? You're, you're on the savanna foraging for food. Think of your brain as, uh, use the analogy of a, of a digital camera, right? Your digital camera only has so much space to take pictures. And so you're not gonna walk around the savanna saying, okay, I gotta take a picture where, where the food is. I'm just gonna start taking random pictures because you'll fill up your, your storage space and you won't actually have the information you need. So our brains are much smarter than that where they say, I'm only gonna take a picture when it's salient, when it's relevant, okay? And so that tends to happen when there's surprise. So you're walking in the, in the savanna and suddenly, oh, there's food. Oh, that surprise is fires dopamine. So surprise. Surprise is not joy, it's surprise. Uh, when you look at the dopamine firing shifting from that surprise or something un, you know, unexpected happening, that urge to go get food, the craving. Uh, actually, I'm curious, let's do a quick 10 second experiment here. Um, I'd like to collect some data from you all. So. Think of the last time you craved something, could be food or anything else, you know, um, and really think of that situation to the point where you can bring up the feeling of craving itself, okay? And when you can really feel into it, feel where you feel it in your body and what it feels like. And what I'd like you to do is just post in the chat words, phrases, how would you describe what craving feels like to you? Just reading these as you post them. <laughs> okay. Great. These are these are great descriptions. So I don't want to put word, I don't want to overinterpret what you're saying, but I'm not seeing anything in these descriptions that says that this is a pleasant sensation. Am I missing something? Yeah, okay. So that's dopamine firing, right? Even recalling things. And that dopamine says, hey, go get something. So we're actually out of balance in that moment, right? Remember, homeostatic hunger says, I need calories, go get food. Out of balance. Dopamine is there to urge us to go get something. Okay, Jane, I'm gonna, um, can I ask you, I see you say anticipation is pleasant. Can you describe, feel into anticipation and can you describe to me what aspect of that anticipation is pleasant? Um, the experience of eating the potato chips with my salad is yeah. thrilling yeah. and to not have the potato chip one with my salad would have been a little disappointing, you know, because that's what I was hoping for. It was a big day, you know. 
So, yeah. so it was knowing the joy that I would feel <laughs> like having the potato chip, you yeah. know, it's just, it's such a hoot to even talk about to like, you know, it's, this is really funny and nutty really. Yeah. So now can I ask you, can you, do you have the ability to separate the anticipation with the receipt, right? Cause you're talking about what it would be like to get the potato chip right now. See if you can cut that piece out and just zoom in on the anticipation. What does that feel like? I'm That's gonna... the pull. Yes. That's the pull that, that I had commented on. That is the outer body, not necessarily in control, a little bit pesky, a little bit of a nudge that you're like, yeah, no. <laughs> but it's overridden by, is it the dopamine that's overriding this? Well, the dopamine is driving that anticipation piece, but I, and is any of that, what you just described there with the anticipation, is any of that pleasant? Um, I have not connected with that mm -hmm. to know whether it was unpleasant or not. Yeah. I, I, so it's something to explore and I won't, I won't keep putting you on the spot. Here. Oh, I love, it's totally fine. I okay. mean, you know, so, so no here problem. It's not supposed to be pleasant. It's supposed to be to urge us to go do something. And what urges us to do something is the unpleasantness, the dissatisfaction in experience that says, go make this better. Because we're we're not at we're not at baseline. We're not at homeostatic levels. Our brain is saying, go do something to make me feel better. So that's the dopamine. And I see this. So my clinic patients, whether they have, so all, all known drugs of abuse, jack the dopamine system. So my patients who use cocaine, they describe everything from this, this constant drive, this pull, this itch to para, clear paranoia because co cocaine can actually make people paranoid. Um, people who are struggling with, with cigarette smoking, when their nicotine levels are low, they feel the same urge, this restless drive to go get a cigarette. In fact, I had a patient who walked into my office one day, I was working, this was at the VA hospital. And he said, doc, if I don't smoke, my head will explode, right? That's how unpleasant the experience was for him. And there was a guy, uh, what was his name? The Buddha, <laughs> he talked about, how craving is at the root of all this suffering? If you look at the Four Noble Truths, right? So that's that's that dopaminergic drive. When we get caught up in craving, that's where suffering happens, right? So it's not a pleasant thing. So it's, I'm probably I don't want to go on too long with this, but I just want to highlight how that's not pleasure, and. Also, it's really important to be able to differentiate, just like you did, Jane, what's anticipation and what is receipt of something, right? The joy of eating the potato chip, just, just kind of using that as an example.